Okay, good afternoon, everybody. I think uh, uh, after lunch meetings are difficult, but uh, in spite of that, I'll try to uh, make it a little interesting. And uh, topic is uh, future of EV. So, next slide, please. So, what we are going to see now that uh, starting from your uh, electric cycle to electric truck, that is going to transform entire the world, not only for India. Maybe it may become a little slower for India, but ultimately the whole world is going to change. And depending on whatever are the application, different type of vehicle, different kind of country and all, everything will get electrified depending on the country. So starting from, say, for India, if you say you have seen that already two-wheeler, three-wheeler things are happening and all, and ultimately, uh, say, electric trucks, even... Uh, uh, mining, uh, electric mining things and also are going to change at all. So we are starting with CLA for uh, electric truck. If you see globally around less than 2% electric trucks are there in the world. And uh, what is happening now, so you can see this is what is the vision we are talking about. This is the future. So let us see this example, if you see that uh, th these are the ultimate, if you see, for these, all these electric uh, trucks and all. And uh, you can see, we will go into more detail that uh, ba battery capacities will be going to be very large for trucks. That will be the basic difference. And uh, you can see, can go anywhere around uh, 600 kilowatt hour to even up to 1,000 kilowatt hour, depending on the countries and all. And rest of the things we'll be talking later about this and all. But what we are saying that uh, first thing is that uh, vehicles are going to change, and this is what we are talking about. Is it an echo here or something that is okay? Okay, you can go to the next one. So when we are talking about that, okay, th this particular segment, we talked about many vehicles and all. So I thought, okay, let us see that, okay, if you are talking about vehicles, so we are talking about Tesla. So you see one of the best examples of Tesla, what did they design? Say in this case, what did they design? So for example, this particular uh, say Model X we are talking about, the battery is about 100 kilowatt hour. Sorry about it. So if you're talking about, say all of us, if you are uh, say uh, knowing about electric vehicles and all, so let us see going through that what is happening for Tesla. So if you see uh, Tesla is having something like uh, 100 kilowatt hour battery, that's not a big thing, there can be many vehicles and all, but there are other features also. So we are not again going through this into it, but you can see that uh, something like that, you can see what is difference between now? What is changing in the world is zero to 100 kilometer are in 2.5 seconds. What is making it possible? This is because of the electric motors. There is no magic here because the electric motors compared to inter internal combustion engine, whatever their engine, the zero to 100 and uh, what is going to be future? It is also possible that uh, say few years from now or other vehicle, this is ultimate you can say talking about Tesla. This can also lead to something like 1.5 second, even zero to 100 kilometer per hour in one second. This is also feasible. We'll again come back to all these things later, but let us see some more things. Next one. So this is what is uh, we are talking about future. This is the entire syllabus from today till 2035. What all different electric vehicles are to be done. This is the entire syllabus, entire technology, whatever we are talking, we talk today, tomorrow, Anybody talking, any company, any company in the world. So we'll go through this just before next one. Next one. So why it is important to first talk about battery and not about other things and all. Basically, first it is important to talk about what is our uh, lithium ion battery itself. Lithium ion battery is a very simple by design. This should have basically four components, okay? This is a cathode, anode, 
electrolyte separator. All are very, very important. But again, we are focusing on, say, cathode and anode. How does it work? It works very simple. All lithium ions are there in the cathode. And for charging it, you just move from cathode to anode that is charging. Very simple. All lithium ions move. Only lithium ions go there. And what is the discharging when you are using this vehicle? It comes from anode to cathode. That is using the battery. That's all technology. So what, where is the technology? Now you see there are companies which are uh, working on what is called as the, uh, you, you can say that the technologies which are able to charge 0 to 200 kilometer in something like five minutes. These are solid state, by solid state you are having a note here. So that is the technology. So you can have a very fast. So for charging what we are doing, moving very fast from cathode to anode. And similarly for uh, coming from anode to cathode, this is very fast happening. So it can be become say 5C or even 7C. You go to return one, go to the Tesla one, Tesla. Further back, yeah, here. How it is possible to have a peak power of 10, 20, almost 1,000 horsepower by Tesla. How is it possible? So you can see here that they are able to peak discharge current of 8C. It means coming from anode to cathode, Tesla is able to do 8C. And that's why they are able to have 1,000 horsepower. So what is happening here for the different kind of chemistries are there. Let us not go through that. And we can go back to your uh, syllabus. Please, syllabus, you can put there. Yes. So I'll go through here for a few minutes here, and then we can see about the different uh, things, what is happening here. So first thing is uh, lithium battery. Second thing is all electric drive train systems, communication and software, and the charging. And quickly, we can go through for the batteries. We can say. We can have, so what I'm saying here, when we are talking about with all of you, you can have, uh, I'm talking about uh, four wheelers to up to ultimately trucks. It is possible to have 20 kilowatt hour to 1000 kilowatt hour in a battery. So if Indian companies, they want to have the cheapest vehicles, cheapest, cheapest vehicles in India, there's no choice. You have to have a 20 kilowatt hour because the moment you go higher, batteries will be cost. Battery is one of the costliest equipment. And in fact, uh, Battery plus your electric drive system is almost 50% of your vehicle cost. So if anybody wants, and suppose you want to ultimate, suppose you want to know, no, I want to have a 1200 horsepower and all, then in that case have a battery which is a more performance batteries and all, but even for passenger vehicles, uh, 100 kilowatt is good enough. So what is happening that you can have again different kind of voltages in your batteries, something like, uh, uh, in this case, 300 volt to 1000 volt batteries. So what, how do you have 300 volt to 1000 volt batteries and all? Because all are done by the power sem uh, semiconductors. So whatever the silicon MOSFETs and all are, they basically make it possible to have a 1000 volt uh, there. And uh, you can have a car. So somebody was talking about range. Somebody, I think Mercedes, he was talking about that 400 kilometers is good enough. Maybe even Say 200 kilometers is good enough if I'm only commuting for okay uh, uh, so home to office. Maybe 200 kilometers is okay, but I am seeing you can have even 100 kilometer range. If you want very, if somebody wants a four lakh vehicle car in India, I can say even have a 10 kilowatt hour with a 100 kilometer range is also okay. If you want to want, but you can have 100 kilometer to up to 1000 kilometer and one kilowatt hour, okay you can have 0.5 kilometer to 11 kilometer. So if you say Tata Nexon and all, so Tata Nexon will be around uh, 400 kilowatt hour for Tata Nexon and they'll say we ex claim 500 kilometer. It means one kilowatt hour can go up to 11 kilometer. So that is up to the battery size and all. Electric drivetrain, everything, whatever your, ultimately your all your, just like you have a diesel tank, that is like your uh, lithium battery, so what happens, does, this is also a drivetrain only, but only electric drivetrain is, it, it, it has so many things here. 
like uh, motor is there, inverters are there. Only good thing here is how they achieve uh, very high performance vehicles. You can have multiple uh, motors can be there, single, double, tri, quad motors and all. And you can have any kind of power, speed, acceleration and all. The best thing is what you are discussing today with all the people and all. Ultimately, it's all about software. Different kind of software which is being read and all. And uh, if you see uh, for 5G, everything related to 5G and things like V2X, like vehicle to grid, uh, vehicle to passenger, all those things, are, everything is related to software, including digital cockpit, which we are doing at uh, what is soft tech here. And all the things what we have discussed, that autonomous vehicle, ADAS, everything related to software. And next is relating to charging. 0.5 to 3C, it is possible to charge and all different things. So now we'll go with uh, all this syllabus. We'll quickly see what are different kind of vehicles are there. We can see with the next one, please. Next. Okay. So quickly, if you see how is required, if you want to make a truck in India, may not be of this kind, but ultimately, if you say, what is the power required here? Is a sustained power of 400 kilowatts. And you can have uh, two, uh, two motors. So you can see now. And the uh, charging current is uh, something like 1.6C, two electric motors, and you can have a 400 kilowatt charger. So this is what is the, so it's a known. It's not that there is no magic about it. Everything is known. Next one, please. This is another truck. This coming from Volvo and all. Again, you see 490 kilowatt of power. You can see everything. You can see what is the charging, what is discharging. Why required 1C for trucks? because it has to be sustained power. Next one, please. So what is difference for uh, uh, buses and all? Buses are required, for example, there are city buses are there. They are required to work continuously. And for that, you can have even the overhead charging also for the flash. So it can do sustained charging. So when you go to bus stop, it can uh, get uh, flash charging for just add another 12 kilometer. So every bus stop, they can charge it and all. Next, please. So this is the another vehicle. And you can see that, OK, why every vehicle is being designed? Every vehicle is being designed for the same technology, that there is a battery. So if you see, the, compared to uh, truck, bus needs about uh, 230. So anything, uh, any buses which you see across India and Bangalore or in Delhi and all, I saw many vehicles something about 230 kilowatt hour of battery. And uh, every bus needs about 1.3 kilometer. So uh, roughly, if you see, entire bus cost, running cost is only 10 rupees for the, for the whole bus. Next, please. You can go next one. Don't worry. We have enough time and all. You can go next one, please. So this is the Porsche, another one which we are trying to compete with uh, Tesla. If you see. Same battery, a bigger range, acceleration of this. You see again here that uh, 761 in the HP, they are able to make it because able to have a 6C of peak discharge current. And uh, one thing is because uh, the difference between Tesla and Porsche is because uh, in uh, case of uh, Tesla, they went for 400 volt technology. This has gone for 800 volt technology. That was the basic difference for uh, all the current and all. And you can see again, they are having a dual motor. Next one, please. So this is our Indian cars, present cars. Whatever cars you are seeing on the road or Bangalore car, this is your cars, whatever you are seeing. So what we are saying, because MGZSCV, which costs around 25 lakh rupees, so what you get for that? If you get 25 lakh and not 50 lakh, you have 50 kilowatt hour battery, you have a 461 kilometer range, and your Acceleration is 8.5 seconds. You are in, we are talking about Tesla and Porsches and all 2.5 seconds. For 25 lakh, you will get this only, okay, for this. And uh, next one, please. And these are the, our, uh, what many of us, you have used this vehicle, Nexon Max and BYD EV6 and all. So between Nexon Max and uh, BYD EV6, what they have taken the balance between the, both the categories in this case, Nexon Tata has taken an approach, go for a cheaper vehicle, 
okay cheaper vehicle costing around 16 17 18 lakh rupees and look like an suv which is not really big suv compared to byd ev6 has looking a bigger suv bigger battery and all little costlier thing and all so if you see my, uh, the future of ev is what how much money you have what actually you are looking for what are the technologies I I with you and based on that, you yourself can do it. Next one, please. I think this may be the last one. So thank you all.